Isn't it beautiful? Look how red it is. So the new project is going to be here on a trailer shortly. I know about 98.7% of you asked for a Volvo 700 series when I asked you what car you'd like to see next on the channel. But I, I just had to get this car, I just had to save this thing, you'll see why shortly. I bought. There he goes. The red rocket has landed. So what do we think? So the important part, money, how much did I pay for this car? Maybe you should guess. So actually I gave him 800 euros for this. Now, this was with a load of parts thrown in as well. I got a load of spares for that. Well, I say a load of spares. Um, we'll have a look at that shortly, but yeah, just bits of trim and stuff like that. Basically, the bits, most of the bits that you can see missing on the car, he chucked in and delivered it. So some of you Americans out there, you're probably thinking, what have you done? Over a thousand bucks for this. But in Europe, this, I mean, this really is the cheapest Volvo 240 I could find in the country. Um, not just at the moment, but it's the cheapest one that's that's come up, I think actually since I've been here. To find one for less than a thousand, no matter what condition it's in, you just don't find it. Pretty good deal, but well, I won't speak too soon because although I had a quick look underneath and the usual rust spots, there is a bit of rust on it, you won't be surprised to hear. Uh, it doesn't seem that bad, um, it could be famous last words, but it actually seems to be like pretty solid as they go. So let's have a closer look. I have to say as well, sorry about the disgusting mess here, it's definitely not mine. Those of you that have been watching for a while, you really know already how this place is and how disgusting it is, but it's all we've got. I'm right in the middle of Berlin, so yeah, and it's cheap, so I'm grateful for it. But anyway, let's get stuck into this thing. It looks like the Lego meme, doesn't it? It's like a dog's lipstick, dog's rocket, pink. G vibe looking thing but this whole panel is actually really nice so could be something going on there whether they've polished it at some point or tried to do something or I mean these arches are solid look how good they look I mean obviously we're gonna find more obviously as we start digging but and I know there's rust at the back here behind these mud flaps you know standard stuff but yeah on the outside Probably been some water getting in there for some time, so we're gonna have to have a look at that. I think the Volvo badge is the nicest thing on it. That looks brand new. So if I show you the car from this angle, isn't it beautiful? Look how red it is. Doesn't feel like it's doing anything. That's because it's not. It's rusted solid. Yeah, it's got no thing. We've got a replacement piece that's also rusty, so that's useful. I know there's some big spiders in here, so I'm being a bit careful. Horrible, like silky black ones that are really quick. But you can see it starting in there. But yeah, this back here is where it starts to get a little bit crispy biscuit. Um, you can't really see it because it looks okay at the first point, but you can hear it. Yeah, so it's definitely crispy underneath that. So I'm just going to leave that alone for now because there isn't a hole there yet. And the floor pans. She looks really clean. So yeah, I'm really impressed. And everything else looks kind of in order as well. 
Gothenburg, Sweden. But yeah. 294828, but obviously I've got no idea if it works. Probably not. Standard stuff, there's no handbrake either, so obviously there's something going on there. Some stuff missing there. So yeah, some wires and stuff. It's it's definitely a project car. Um, it's definitely been messed with. Had things done on it. Um, so yeah, there's definitely gonna be some bumps in the road to say the least, but needs a good cleanup of course. But yeah, we've got a grill. But yeah, we've got some jobs to do. But it's all part of the fun, isn't it? It's the whole point of a project car. Virtually no brake fluid in it. It's way below minimum. Perfect. That's probably why there's no brakes. There's obviously something going on there because we've got what looks like masking tape on the brake disc. So yeah, I have no idea. So that'll be fun. The part you've all been waiting for, I'm sure. Let's get us started. Yeah, I'm not going to taste this oil like some of my other YouTube counterparts, but I'll smell it. And it smells like varnish. So we'll just put that back. No, it's just purring like a kitten, can't believe it. Sounds great, runs really nice. Obviously needs some fresh oil, you can hear it's probably a little bit rough sounding. Yeah, I'm really excited, really excited. That's the future. <laughs> 